arriving at the scene. Uh, Jim Friedel in Hoboken uh, said it appeared to back sharply and mm. smash directly, perhaps purposefully, into... Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, God. There's another <clears throat> one. Oh. oh, my goodness. There's another this one. This seems to be on purpose. Oh, my goodness. Another now you... Plane? Now it's obvious, I think that uh, th there's a second plane just crashed into the World Trade Center. I think we have a terrorist attack of proportions that we cannot begin to imagine at this juncture. Fifteen years ago, I was 13 years old. It was really early in Los Angeles, California. I was there visiting the LA Dream Center with my family. I remember waking up around 7 o'clock and finding everybody, all the adults and my parents, inside a uh, little room where the TV was at the Dream Center and the staff of the Dream Center uh, and, and other visitors were all in this room huddled around this TV. That was probably the first time I ever heard the words Trade Center. I'd seen them plenty of times. I, I watched Home Alone um, enough and that was actually one of my favorite scenes. What I really remember actually was going outside and hearing birds chirping in Los Angeles. Not hearing a vehicle, not a car. Uh, there wasn't a thing in the sky. The crazy thing was, it wasn't just Los Angeles. It was every city in the United States of America. I remember looking at those towers and, and listening to the, that silence and realizing that something very big had happened. I, I think that was the first time our nation has felt that vulnerable. Now I remember going home uh, that next week and going to school and my friends were talking about it and all my classmates, my teachers, and I remember everyone was still kind of shooken up. Uh, we were all about seeking justice on that day. I, I, I can't think of another day where a nation was also so unified. I remember a friend grabbing a $20 bill and showing me this trick. And he said, uh, you can find the trade center on a 20. I just think this is cool. It's a neat reminder. And that day was tragic. I mean, by far the most tragic attack on American civilians ever. As sad as it is and as crazy as that all is, that our safety had been penetrated, that we have, our, our trust in our borders had been broken. We, we, everything we've taken for granted was terrifying. As much as today is a reminder that we were attacked and that there's people out there 15 years ago who lost their husbands and their wives and their fathers and their mothers. This day is also a great reminder of how great we have it in our nation. We don't have to worry about this happening daily. We actually have had 15 years since we've had such a dramatic attack. There's been other attacks, but nothing like this. So today, though it's a time of sadness and a time of remembering those we've lost, it's also a time of remembering that we are a great nation. Yes, we've lost many, but because of who we are, we've also stood very strong and haven't lost a, a and haven't lost countless amount of lives. I think that 9/11 should be a day that we always remember those who have fallen. But I think it should also be a day that we remember just how great our nation is and how fortunate we are that we live here. Anyways, today is 9-11 and, and today's vlog is just going to be this. 13 years old when that happened and I had no idea how great of a damage that was going to do. But now looking back, I realize that we have a very, very amazing country. So yeah, so today as we mourn and remember, let's also celebrate. Let's also make this a day of, wow, it's been 15 years. All right, well.